A slow climb with great views over Kowloon and Victoria Harbour, a little Hawaii and a never-ending summit. We're on the Wilson Trail right here on Drone and Phone. Well, we're back on the Wilson Trail today. Sections three and four, it's gonna be a bit tougher, certainly a lot longer than last time. What are we gonna to do today? So we are, today we're starting in Yao Tong, and then later on we're gonna head straight to Ma Yao Tong. Okay, it's gonna be about 17 kilometers in total. Let's get going. Let's go. Named after Baron Wilson of Tillion, Governor of Hong Kong from 1987 to 1992, the Wilson Trail stretches 78 kilometers from Stanley in the south of Hong Kong Island to Nam Chung in the far north of the New Territories. Often overlooked for its more famous sibling, the McElhose Trail, we highly rate this one, a drone and foam, because of its spectacular views, abundance of wildlife and quieter paths. For this hike, we start at the Yao Tong MTR, head through a narrow alley and up a path past some shrines and a temple as we make our way up to the Devil's Peak. So as you come up to Devil's Peak, you do a little circuit around. You can see Devil's Peak behind us. We've just literally gone around that and back and now we're starting on the trail. It's well worth the detour. There's lots to see up there, so don't take the shortcut. Make sure you go up and have a look. The trail takes you on a loop around the peak and back to the trail you started on, this time going in the opposite direction. From there, it's a climb up to a ridge. It's hot and it's deep. It's not as shaded as Hong Kong Trail. Where you cross a series of small peaks, all with fantastic views across the harbour. As we come down off this first peak, we can have a look pretty pretty clear actually as to where we're going. We're going to be coming down, down into a village down below over here. We're going to go behind this uh, mound over here and then out behind Kowloon Peak over to Tate's Cairn and drop down, which is where we're going to finish section four. Quite a lot of climbing and I believe Section four is a lot harder than section three, and section three so far has been pretty tough, right, George? And I gotta say, this is the most signed trail I have ever seen. You will never get lost on this section. <laughs> There's a lot of signs, that's for sure. Once you pass through the village of Ma Yao Tong, the scenery changes as you meander along some village paths past the little Hawaii trail and onto the village of Cheng Nain Shu. Well, we've just finished section three. It's about nine kilometers on our watch. How was it for you, George? It's pretty tough already, but DJ said it's going to be even tougher for the next session. I yeah, we're, we're, we've just started section four. We're a little ways into it and we're about to go up this hill. We, I think we've got about 450 meter climb. That's quite a long way. And it's going to be straight up there. Once we get up there, should be some fantastic views. Well worth it, George. Okay, let's go. Got to, got to get him up there first. After a short way along a road, section four turns up a path with a long stairway to climb. I've just checked my altitude. I'm at about 300 meters. I started at 100. I've got to get up to around 500. And this is relentless. Comes at the end of section three and four. So you need to be aware that you must save some energy for this last part. I don't know if you can see up, but the path just disappears into infinity and behind me the same thing. It's long, it's tough, but it's gotta be done if you wanna finish the Wilson Trail. Don't be fooled by apparitions of summits ahead of you. We found that as soon as you reached what we thought was the top, the stairway would turn and continue up but there is a reward at the top that makes it worth the effort. Well, that's it, the 400 meter straight climb, according to my altimeter anyway. If I climb up on this rock here, we've got this fantastic view across to Kowloon 
peak over there as the ridge comes around, bends around and goes around to Lion Rock which is on the other side. Got a brilliant view all around really, everywhere that we look. Uh, we can see Sai Kung down behind me. But oh, it's a hell of a climb. From the top of Tung Yuan Shan, there's a steep descent down to Lei Nor Shan Road, which you follow all the way to Sha Tin Pass. If the weather is kind, expect spectacular views over Kowloon along the road. Walk at sunset for the best experience. Well, we're nearing the end of section four. It's been, what, about 17 and a half kilometers so far. How's it been for you, George? It's actually easier than I thought, but just look at the view behind us. It's totally worth the hike. It's definitely worth it at the end of this one, but do be careful. There is a very long climb in the middle. Now you'll find all of our other videos on droneandphone.com as well as on our YouTube channel. But for now, my name's DJ. I'm George. And this is Drone and Phone. <laughs>